now we try to do our best to make sure our hearts are healthy, but sometimes we may eat something that's not so good for us. And occasionally those things we eat could mean the difference in a healthy heart and an unhealthy heart. Just take a look at this. On the left, you see a healthy heart, and on the right, uh, not so healthy. The heart on the left has visceral fat. And joining us now to talk about visceral fat and how to avoid it is Dr. Raphael Foss of 904 Thin. Good morning, thanks for being with us today. When we first showed the picture of the two hearts, I, I saw our floor director grab his heart. I mean, that is like really obvious, the difference. Yeah, that, that, that's a reality that people are walking around with all the time. And the question is, how do you get there and how do you prevent it from ever happening, right? Because nobody wants to deal with any health issues. Right, and I mean, how long does it take for visceral fat like that to build up? Well, it's different for everybody. It depends on your activities. So the way that happens is by what you eat, right? What you put in your mouth. So if you're eating healthy things, that's going to process through your liver. Your liver is the filter of your body, right? Mm -hmm. If you're eating unhealthy things, guess what happens? Your liver is dealing with processing that. And then when you're eating unhealthy things, what happens? The liver then releases these chemicals and you start to build fat around the liver, around the heart, around all of the organs. And I actually brought a, a, a model here to show you guys what, you know, this right here is the healthy type of organs. You, can you see these? Uh, basically, the peaches are the yeah. organs, right? It's like a jello, jello mold. And you're supposed to have a little bit of fat around these. Um, and that's healthy. When you have an unhealthy amount of fat in your body, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, all the organs are being pushed apart. Yeah. And that's what's going on in your body. And what happens, and that's, that's what the... The, the, the unhealthy heart that you had on the right looks like, what that does is it adds pressure to the kidneys. It increases your blood pressure. But even worse, that's where your body stores its toxins because your body's always trying to protect itself. So it says, you know, I'm not supposed to have this stuff in my body, so I'm going to go ahead and store it in the fat cells to protect my vital organs, mm -hmm. right? So it makes a lot of sense. But what happens, that nasty visceral fat is probably the worst thing for your health because it releases chemicals that cause a lot of health problems, that cause challenges with your sleep, that increase your inflammation and pain, that affect your energy. It doesn't look good yeah. either. Well, this boils down to, you know, this whole movement of trying to eat whole foods, to, to try to stay away from the processed foods. Because I'll tell you, I don't know that I've ever had one bowl of cereal. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, when you start eating that processed food, you, and then you start craving it, and then you, you eat more and more of it, and then the healthy food doesn't taste quite as good anymore. It, isn't that interesting that you yeah. just brought that up? So the chemicals that are released from this visceral fat actually affect your cravings, mm -hmm. right? So when you eat bad foods, guess what? The, the sugar industry is brilliant. They get you to crave more of it. And so, and what happens is the good foods don't taste as good. When you balance the body and you heal those receptors by eating the healthy foods, right? Everything's connected, right? There's no, there's no shortcuts to this thing. It's actually kind of simple. And if you eat those good foods, you heal those receptors, the food actually tastes better. So you are absolutely correct. How long do you think does it take to, kind of, to get off those unhealthy foods? I mean, it takes a while to break that habit. You've got to be committed. Well, you know, yes, you, that's the very first step. You want to definitely mentally be ready to take your health into your own hands. And so it's different for everybody. You know, I've had experience with uh, children. I've had experience with 70, 80 plus year olds. And everybody's different. And the key is really making sure you're doing all the right things. And, uh, and, and that's what makes it go a lot faster if you're doing the right things versus the wrong things. The real challenge is, you know, how do you get rid of it, right? Mm -hmm. to, to me, that's the, that's the challenge. And what happens when we see people going through diets, there's a yo-yo cycle. They lose weight, right. gain weight, lose weight, gain oh, weight. Oh, yeah, familiar with that. And what happens is they're not actually affecting the visceral fat when they're losing and gaining the weight. They're just losing some water and some other and some other fat. So the key is when you're eating healthy and you're doing these activities, you're getting to the visceral fat, which is really mm -hmm. what's benefiting your health. Mm -hmm. Some good information, and we'll talk more about how wine affects it later. How, how much does this weigh? Five pounds. Five pounds. It's disgusting, isn't it? We're going to post this interview later this morning on the morning show page of newsforjacks.com so that you can share it with your friends and your loved ones. Dr. Foss, thanks so much for joining us.